Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I have picked up some really good thrift flip finds at the thrift store lately so I thought that today would be a good day to go ahead and transform these pieces and give them some new life so that I can start decorating with them and incorporating them into my house. So I'm going to take you guys along with me. If you're new here, I'm Noelle. I make new videos like this every single week on home decor, DIY home decor, and making your home look high-end on a budget. So if you like that, definitely consider subscribing to my channel and make sure that you turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. Alrighty, so for this first thrift flip, I actually, so whenever I did my console table DIY that I just posted like last week, I'll link it up here, I saw this piece of art that was on it and it was very sculptural and I really wanted to try and recreate it. So I went to the thrift store looking for something that I could do that with and I found this frame and it's got like the shadow box kind of thing so I thought that this would be a really good piece to redo to make it look like this more sculptural like art piece thing so we're just going to start by taking this apart and then we can move on to the fun stuff so I'm just going to go through here and pry up these things that are keeping the cardboard backing in we're going to take that out so now we've got these little pieces of cardboard on the side. So I'm gonna try and get those off. Okay, that glass will come out now. Okay, we're just gonna leave it like this. There's just a little bit of residue left in there, but it's not gonna be an issue. So now to get this cool like sculptural look, I'm actually going to be going in with some plaster and I've never used this product before so I'm hoping that it goes well. I've used joint compound before but never plaster. So the reason that I'm choosing to do the plaster over the joint compound is because when you do thick layers of joint compound it tends to crack and I really don't want it to crack and I don't want it to take a really long time to dry. This only takes 20 to 30 minutes to dry so with that being said, I'm just going to mix up a little bit just so that I can get used to it and so it doesn't dry out before I'm done applying it. So we'll probably do like two batches or so. I'm just guessing because I've never used this before. So we're just going to go ahead and mix this up. Oh, it has a working time of six to ten minutes. So I, yeah, we're going to have to work really quickly so it doesn't dry up before I'm done. So I'm going to have to be real careful with that. Add two parts plaster to one part water. I just got a fourth of a cup here. So I'm just going to mix up. One. So. Half of a cup of plaster. Fourth of a cup of water. And I'm just going to pour that on it. Ooh. I got these old plastic scraper things from Lowe's and they're pretty cheap. So we're just going to mix this up. Alright, so I probably could have used more of the plaster because it didn't make a whole lot so I'm literally just going to start putting this all over my frame and we're going to build it up and make it look nice and thick and cool. So this is how far the first batch of plaster got us just around basically the front half. So I'm going to go ahead and make a little bit more of this for the second batch and get it all covered for the first coat. All right, so this one started, this batch started to dry super fast. So I definitely mixed up too much. 
So I think probably sticking to the half cup of plaster is a really good idea because whenever it starts to get really thick like this, it makes it just a lot more clumpy. So like over here, look. I mean, it adds more texture, but it's just a lot more difficult to apply because it's not as smooth. So the front half is a lot smoother than like that side piece. So I'm gonna have to go back and add some more. I didn't have enough. It dried too fast to finish this little side piece. But I also realized I've gotta put this back piece back on because it's gotta have a back somehow. Or I guess maybe I need to make a back. Cause in the photo, the inspiration, it's got like a back piece to it. So maybe I can just take, if I just glue it, yeah, okay, that's what I'll do. So I'm gonna go get my hot glue gun so that we can glue this on the back side of it so that it's got a back so that we can plaster in here too. And that's gonna give it a really cool depth to the piece. So I'm gonna get my hot glue gun so we can do that. So I realized it would probably be easier to just go ahead and plaster this backing and then attach it instead of having to try and reach in there and get all the corners and stuff. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this plaster on here and then we'll go ahead and hot glue it onto the back side so that we have that back piece on it that needs to be there. All right, so I've got the backing plastered and all of the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on this back piece. So I'll just make some more plaster to cover up like where this connects a little bit and on the inside as well so that you can't see it. So to finish off this piece, I'm going to go in with some paint and I'm just gonna do like a creamy light brown color. And I'm gonna add in a little bit of baking powder to thicken it up. So I finished painting this little, whatever this is, and I'm feeling like it looks a little bit plain in the middle. So I think I'm going to get some of the plaster and do some kind of like, I don't know, like raised thing in the middle. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Once this plaster dries, I'm going to go ahead and paint it the same color as the rest of the piece and that just really finishes off this sculpture. So my obsession with painting jugs and vessels and vases and stuff like this is not over. So I'm gonna use a different technique than I've ever tried before this time though. So I'm not doing the baking soda thing. I'm gonna try something new. But first, I'm gonna go in with a sanding block and sand off just some of this texture because it's been like, I don't know, like spackle, like somebody like flicked paint on it or something. So I'm gonna try to sand that down so that we don't see that through the finished look and then we'll move on to the next step. So, I'm actually gonna be mixing up sand into the paint mix, and that's gonna give this a really cool texture and a 
like just a really cool grittiness to it. So I'm gonna mix up my paints and I'm just gonna use, you know, I love using a white and a brown to get a nice creamy color. And I'm gonna go a little bit darker for this one to just give it a nice age look. And then I'll go in with another tone of this color and just paint over it to give it more depth. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up and then we'll add in our sand. And I'm actually gonna add in a little bit of yellow too. So now I'm just gonna mix in a spoonful of sand and I just picked this up at Lowe's. It's just all purpose sand and I'm gonna mix it in. I'm gonna go in with the lighter tone first and just kind of start pushing it on because I don't want it to have like brush stroke marks. Now I'm going in with a slightly darker tone to add a little bit of depth. You guys, the texture that this sand is adding to this vase, I just cannot. This is so, so good. And this is definitely gonna be my new go-to. And to give this piece even more depth and visual interest, I'm going in with an even darker tone. And I really find that layering colors like this is really key to getting a piece to look really high end and it keeps it from falling flat. And that finishes off this piece. Alrighty guys, that is all that I've got for you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it encourages you guys to go out and thrift and find unique pieces that you can make your own or completely transform them. So I hope that this inspires you guys to do that. If you like this video, make sure that you give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.